there's there's different categories in the application form um, that you need to kind of um, um, write your kind of biography under and then provide evidence. So the first so the first part of the form, you put your personal details on there. You put like your name, your address, date of birth and all of that. The, 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 the next part of the form, you need to state if you're the person who arrived in the UK from a British Commonwealth nation before the 1st of January 1973, or you are the close family member, which is a son, a daughter, a child, a partner, or like another close type of family member. So for example, in the Caribbean, a lot of us grew up with our grandparents, aunts, uncles, or cousins. So if you had a cousin that you kind of grew up with and you experienced things because of them or do, or they experience things because of you, you can then um, apply on that, on that basis. Now, um, there's different there's different um, eligibility criteria. So I've just explained if you come before 1973. However, if you're the child or close fam family member of someone who entered the UK before the 1st of January 1973, like me, for example, I was a successful claimant. Although I'm born in Britain, I'm mixed race. I've mixed race. I was born British. I've never had immigration issues myself. Um, however. Um, so I didn't qualify for the immigration and deportation category. Um, I only qualified for impact of life. I had to, I had to, I'm, I'm eligible because my father's eligible due to coming here before 1st of January 1973. Um, but then on my application, I have to write who I am, um, how I'm related to someone who entered the UK before the 1st of January 1973, how, how they've suffered and then how, what they've suffered um, impacts my life so the category that British born people will 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 qualify are likely to qualify for is the impact of life um, and we need to kind of relate that to how what our parents or close family member went through in that time affected our lives so I can give you some examples for example um, my father after the army he had some mental health issues and he did um he was detained under the mental health act in, in a mental health institution that obviously impacted my life so um of course um that's when that's when i can now write on the form how it impacted my life so i spent a period of time in foster care as a child uh, and and i relate that back to what my father went through and him not being there for us or to support my mom and that having an impact on my childhood and my upbringing of course i can evidence that so what i've done is a dsar application it's dsar and this is very important that anybody who's listening actually notes this down a dsar application dsar application 